Hi guys, today is the 23rd of August at uh, 13 minutes past 2 in the afternoon and I just wanted to quickly make this update in relation to Hurricane Lane, Kilauea and why we're watching for a possible massive eruption coming from there. One of the established theories about the 1883 eruption of Krakatoa is that exactly this happened by natural accident. Either the volcano's lowest vents became submerged or faulting, excuse me, permitted an influx of water. Either way, enormous amounts of seawater entered the volcano, which met the hot magma, flashed into sea steam, and caused immense pressure to build up within the mountain, while more seawater entered the void created by the steam formation itself, flashed into steam. Once that pressure reached a certain point, the rest is history. We know what happened. Krakatoa had a massive explosion. You might want to think about pouring water into a volcanic vent. Steam is vicious stuff. Now, we know that we're in a situation where we could potentially have a lot of water entering into the Kilauea volcano. It has various cracks and various cracks and various fissures. Earlier models had Hurricane Lane tracking directly through the Hawaiian chain of islands, but this, um, as is updated, appears to be tracking to the south. But I think the eye of the hurricane and the wind factor is less of an, an importance than it is in terms of precipitation. Now. The 1883 eruption of Krakatoa began in the afternoon of Sunday, the 26th of August, 1883. I just find it curious that we're in August again and we're looking at another potential volcano that could erupt in a similar way in association with water, seawater, um, and what could occur after that. So I find it also curious with all the number eights that we've got connected to this. So we've got for example, Hurricane Hector visited Hawaii uh, last week or within the last two weeks. H&H, &H, Hurricane Hector. The effects that we're looking at in terms of location, I've talked about in terms of Hawaii, Honolulu, H&H, &H, again, 8 and 8. We're looking at a possible eruption from fissure number 8. And just to top it all off, this model is at 7pm. Uh, GMT or UTC time, which means it would be 8 a.m. Hawaiian time, which is in about five hours. That is a time, according to this model anyway, where we appear to have the most precipitation over the Big Island, in particular the East Rift Zone, where the Kilauea volcano is located. So you may have another 8 a.m. Fisher 8, Hawaii Honolulu 8-8, connection there. And instead of Hurricane Hector, we've got Hurricane Lane instead, which may which may cause this. Even in the news, you had Michael Cohen pleading guilty to eight counts, while Paul Manafort was found guilty for eight counts. So I don't know if there's a significance in terms of the 8-8 connection, but even when you go back to the, Kilo, uh, the Krakatoa eruption, that began on Sunday the 26th, 2 and 6, 8, August 8, 1883, 8 8. So there's a lot of 8 8s there. A uh, similar volcanic situation. Krakatoa, Kilauea. I don't know. It just seems all a bit, a bit unusual. So this is the map of the East Rift Zone. We can see that the cracks from Fisher 8 and the various other um, fissures, they will kind of lead to the ocean. I believe this. This one highlighted in in red here shows you the expanse of uh, fissure number eight. I think there's other fissures in there as well, but it's mainly made up of fissure number eight. And you've got various various ocean entry points here. So when you're looking at the weather map and you can see you've got a lot of precipitation. And then in terms of waves, you've got two, two to three meter waves around the island. Obviously, that can cause storm surge flooding where you've got these ocean entry points that flooding can get into the cracks. You can have interaction with magma, which can cause the water to flash into steam, which can create pressure, which could then erupt in a massive explosion. So we'll watch out for the entire day, the 23rd of August, even into the 24th, um, a little bit, because Hawaii is uh, 10 or 11 hours behind the UK. So while over here, and on the east coast and even on the west coast when we're on the 24th 
Hawaii will still be on the 23rd. Um, and it appears that this is, if there is anything to happen on the 23rd, it's probably connected with um, Hawaiian time. But 8 o'clock seems like, as I said, the time where there's the most precipitation. We've got a lot of 8s in terms of numerology connection there. So I'm going to be paying very particular attention or very close attention to uh, when it gets to 7 p.m. over here paying attention to the news and to the live Kilauea feeds and seeing if there's any trouble around 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, again, it might be difficult to see because of the hurricane. We've got a lot of uh, mist and wind. It will be very dark and cloudy over there, so there might not be good visibility, but I'll suspect if there's an eruption, that would be quite visible through whatever cloud cover there is. You guys... Hope nothing happens, pray nothing happens, but be prepared just in case it does. We do have all the potential elements to make this thing happen unfolding right now. If it does happen, we'll update. If it doesn't happen, we'll update. You guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and may the Heavenly Father bless you.